I could be wrong. <laughs> Probably not wrong. So what's up guys, welcome back to the channel and another video. So this video was supposed to be a little bit different. We did plan on going out and taking some JPEG photos with the Fuji, but the weather just ended up not playing ball. That's yeah. kind of what we have to put up with when we're here in Ireland. It's fun. And it's supposed to be summer, but yeah, you just never know. But what happened was we did come across a few comments on YouTube talking about photography style and then we kind of get into a conversation ourselves and we were like, wait, we should actually do this and talk about this in a video because we think it's very important and it might also help you in some way. So these days you hear a lot about people having a photography style, their own sort of unique look. Or you'll see comments on Instagram like you have a really nice aesthetic feed, it all matches and stuff. And usually that simply means that a photographer has a certain style to their photos in terms of the way they actually take them, the type of photos they take, and also the way they edit the photos. So like Christina said at the start, I was watching a YouTube video a few days ago. I actually can't remember what the video was on or who it actually was. <laughs> I just took a flick through the, the comments and I seen a comment from someone that said, I'm creating my Instagram account, my Instagram photography account, and I want to know how do I get my own style. And it just kind of stuck in my head and that's why we're here doing this video because I just thought it was an interesting comment from someone who's probably quite new to photography. And this, I guess, can be a good thing or a bad thing. And we have had firsthand experience of this. So let's just have a little talk about some of, some of, some of our thoughts on this general topic. Also, I know some of these kind of sit down talking videos on certain topics can be a little bit boring. So we're going to just kind of fire through the things that we want to yeah. explain and <laughs> hopefully, yeah, try and make it as quick as possible. And hopefully it makes some sense and you kind of learn something from it. So this whole thing about photography style really only became as big as it is, I think largely due to Instagram. People on Instagram having a cohesive feed, people wanting their feed to look just like that. And it became a thing as if like, if you don't have a photography style, you're not a good photographer or having a style automatically makes you a better photographer, but that's just not the case. We should focus more on the individual photos, especially if you're a beginner, rather than trying to make everything match together on your Instagram feed. Because sometimes that it puts pressure on you to take photos in a certain way or to edit photos in a certain way, just so it fits the feed, so they match together, which can be very restricting. Yeah, so when we kind of started our Instagram, we done a lot of random photos and then we started, <laughs> I, I kind of wondered the five was in- Random photos. This, just we were just starting so we were kind of getting into photography there was no we weren't even thinking about a matching feed or different yeah. type we were just trying to learn then as we got into it slowly i ended up seeing a lot of other photographers that i liked and i really liked their style and i was like could i make my own version of that sort of style and i ended up taking a lot of photos and editing them in a similar way mm -hmm. to the point where i felt like it was a bit limiting on what i was taking photos of limiting it kind of creative wise too because you're forcing yourself sort of down one path and if that's something that you do really early on in your photography process you're gonna limit yourself a lot and you're gonna end up learning less i think because yeah. You're not going to allow yourself to take certain types of photos or you're going to limit yourself to like one type of photo normally and one editing style which just limits the whole learning process of photography and slows you down so when we were in that little phase of trying to keep everything the same we were taking photos like this and editing them in a very similar and very sort of moody moody specific way which i did really like and still kind of do but now we're taking a lot of different photos, a lot of nature style photos with edits like this. And I think that's probably what I prefer. Totally different styles of editing and kind of photography in, in general, I would say. And to sort of add to that point, this may also lead you to miss out on taking certain photos of certain things or certain places just because you're trying to stick to one style or one thing. You're, you're going to miss out on so much. And 
This actually, I guess, happened to us a little bit too. <laughs> so we went traveling about, I don't know, like two years ago or something. And when we were taking some photos on our travels, we were doing this, trying to stick to one photography style that the travel sort of lifestyle uh, photos on our Instagram account. On our travels, we actually really got into taking lots of street photography type photos. Um, we loved visiting new cities and just going around the streets and taking photos of the streets and we really really enjoyed that but we had these photos these street photos and we thought there's no place on our Instagram for those we we were like what are we gonna do with all these street photos and it limited us so much because our Instagram feed was like no it has to be this certain way and we had all these photos that we couldn't do anything with kind of annoying it is a little bit annoying and, and it also kind of makes you then consider stopping doing that because you have nowhere to put them yeah. because you're being so specific with your Instagram page which doesn't really matter at that stage and from all of what we just said, you might think we completely disagree with having a photography style and that it's not a good thing. And that is just not true. We actually <laughs> do really like people yeah. with photography styles. And if you go about it the right way, then I think it's a great thing. At the minute, we probably do have a photography style. It's definitely not as specific as what we tried yeah. to do it before. But I think just what we like and the way we edit and the photos that we take definitely do have a bit of a cohesive look to them and i think it works way better if you let that just happen naturally let it happen over a longer period of time take photos of lots of different things find what you like and your style will slowly evolve into whatever it is that you just how do you even explain that what you slowly start to like more of you'll start to narrow in on that style and that editing style and it's quite satisfying to just find what it is you like naturally. Because the thing is, you can't just find something that you haven't experienced, right? You have to experience all of these other things to find the one thing or... In saying that, it doesn't even have to be one thing. You could like two styles or three styles or as many styles as you want. It's totally up to you. But the important thing is, is that you don't just find it, right? You don't just go out there and find it. You have to do it and experience it and practice it and then it will come to you. Yeah, you can't just flick through Instagram and go, I like his style, I'm gonna copy that, <laughs> yeah. because then you're instantly limiting yourself straight away without actually really knowing whether you really like doing that style and mm -hmm. editing that style constantly. Yeah. Having your own style of photography and your own look to your photos can really be great for commercial work too, because if a brand, for example, wants to work with you or if someone wants to get you to take their photos, they kind of know what they're getting. And usually that's because of your photography or editing style, uh, that brands might see that and think, oh, I would love to work with this person because I really like their photography style or what they do with their photos. So your photography style really helps you to stand out from other photographers or content creators that are on the platform. So just to sum up, we are definitely fans of a having your own photography style if you think about it your photography style is just an expression of you of yourself of the things that you like so that can only always be a good thing only always only always and always only that can on that can always only be a good thing <laughs> i don't know what the right sentence is but i think the key is not to rush it just let it happen naturally don't rush into picking a certain style because i think in the end all that does is just limit your learning progress when it and comes creativity. to photography yeah i just want to add too that you might see our photos and think oh why can't i take photos like that or edit like that but we've had to go through all of these stages too right we've had to try out different photos and photography styles and editing styles to find the things that we like so it's important that you remember that it takes time and just try things you're assuming everybody looks at our photos and thinks that they're great you might think that they're <laughs> sh but whatever you might. <laughs> that's fine too <laughs> Yeah, so we just thought we would give our input on that little topic because, yeah, it just kind of stuck on my head when I, when I seen that comment. And I think it's something especially that new photographers should just be aware of because, yeah, it can have a negative impact on your photography. Also remember that even if you find something that you really like doing, that might also change in a year's time or two years time. It can be ever changing your photography style. Probably will be. It probably will. And you could just let it happen if you want it to. Okay, that is definitely enough no. blabbering for this topic. Apologies if you found it a little bit boring. We just wanted to give our thoughts on it. And I think that's pretty much it for this one. Yes, hopefully the next video we will be outside shooting some photos. We will be. Some and we're also working on a new photo vlog, which uh, 
think you'll enjoy. So if you find this one in any way helpful, it would be really appreciated if you could give it a big thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button down below too if you want to see more videos, well, like this, tips, and also photo vlogs and photo, photo missions, stuff like that. Floto, I said floto. <laughs> As we always say, guys, take it easy. Don't be a stranger. I said floto. Floto missions. <laughs> what are those?